Hi Scorpios, thank you for viewing Searchlight Tarot. My name is Elena. I am doing the general spread, the. Everything's um, switching right now. We're coming to the end of your season. Happy birthday, by the way. This is general. I always ask for the strongest energies around the sign I am reading for. Today it is for my beautiful Scorpios. Control popped out with conditioning. I feel that right now, if this is your reading, this is something that you're conditioning yourself with. And it's about almost like controlling the things around your life. Taking charge of situations, I feel. Um, I'm going to look right now. Let us ask spirit guides. This is good for all placements for Scorpio. It is general. Please take what resonates. Leave, it, leave out what does not. Let's see what they want to say. Conditioning and control. Spirit guides. Strongest energies, messages. Thank you. Around the sign of Scorpios. What else do you want to show me? Strongest energies. Oh, they sounded angry. Oh, I have celebration in front of me. Who's over here? I have compromise. I have guidance. And I have the dream. You guys are trying to find a compromise with something right now that you feel is a part of your dream, your wish, your destiny. You're trying to find a compromise about controlling situations, I feel. I do have totally, and I have it with celebration. It's like letting your letting your guard down a little bit about maybe kind of just going with flows, you know, get-togethers, people you love. Mm -hmm. These are the ones that landed on my right. They kind of just jumped out. I have understanding. I have it with aloneness. And then they gave you the rebel. And the rebel is basically an energy of breaking out. Like, you know what? I'm not going to let situations, I feel, that have made you feel alone. And I feel you're coming into an understanding of going towards something that is going to bring you to a higher light and higher place of happiness. Right now, it's like you're the rebel and it's about your dream. You know, it's like you're fighting for something and guidance. I feel that the universe is pushing you in certain directions that you need to go or having certain people come your, come your way to help you, to guide you to a certain direction. But I'm going to look at your recent past, the Rider weight. I like the Rider weight uh, just a little bit. I have the King of Swords under the deck. King of Swords is... Uh, it's the king of air, but it, it, I felt that there was something recently you, you had to fight for. You had to fight for that was you felt was right. Let me see. Right now you're a rebel and you're about, it's about your dream. It's about something that you truly want to come together for you with love. Mm -hmm. Reason passed. Thank you, spirit guides. For the sign of Scorpios. Thank you. Thank you. A little bit about Scorpios' recent past. Thank you. Anything else? Oops. Who's on my foot? Oh, shit. I see something over here. Recent past. I have the five of pentacles in reverse. That's how I picked it up. I have the high priestess under the deck. And I have it with the star and the ace of pentacles. Three of swords with a lot of strength and courage. Three of swords is something that I felt has broken your heart. You know, like things that have just wounded you. Um just the pain sometimes that we have a hard time getting over because I have the high priestess and the star that's Aquarius energy a little bit of Pisces in there too but I just feel like you started coming into an energy of silent healing of having an intuition knowing that something you've been through you started coming out of this place of aloneness I feel it Ace of Pentacles look like a new peace offering a brand new start started feeling as if things could be a golden opportunity there were gold. I feel this recently in your past. You came into a lot of strength and courage. And I have the two of wands. But let us look. Because I have the tower staring at me. That's boom. Queen of cups. Queen of water. Uh, I think. I know. If this is your reading. Recently in your past. You came into a healing energy. Uh, with the tower here. It's like you just started looking. Or feeling as if the things that have happened to you. You know maybe. Perhaps they were meant to happen to me. 
to come back into a nurturing love energy of letting something go with love. Or uh, yeah, I just feel it. I got the Queen of Pentacles, beautiful energies, Six of Wands, and I got one card left. <laughs> Queen of Pentacles is a very nurturing, two queens, Queen of Cups, definitely forgiving some type of tower moment you've had, epiphanies, an old relationship, an old structure that had to come down. I think you just came into an energy of healing. I feel it because I look at your current energies around you right now and it's like you're finding compromises and the universe is pushing you in certain directions. All right. And Six of Wands with the Queen of Pentacles is the queen of self-worth and value. I think you recently have come into an energy of knowing how much you deserve and how, how valuable you truly are. And I have it with the Page Cups. Page Cups is new love energy. Very, very new young water energy. Like I feel like you came into an energy of conditioning yourself to love things again. Love again. The love of life, love of people. Mm -hmm feel that because right now you're the rebel because you're all about I want my happiness back I want my celebratory times back I have a dream you know and I'm just going with the flow right now totally okay I love it I'm gonna look at the crossing now if you're not dealing with anyone all right we'll use the everyday witch there is a timestamp in the description box to move into the incoming I chose this deck I don't know why yet oh I have the nine of pentacles with the hermit and the six of pentacles Hmm. It's a Virgo energy. Nine of Pentacles, Six of Pentacles. A person who feels that they... The Nine of Pentacles is about full-on achievement. Like, they feel they've succeeded. And they want to receive. They feel like they, they want... I'm not, the Hermit can be gone for a long time, though. Let me just see. Crossing energies for the sign of Scorpios. Thank you. Oh. What else would you like to show me about the crossing energies my Scorpios have been dealing with? Thank you, Spirit Guides. Anything else? Crossing energies for the sign of Scorpios. How far did it fly? Oh, it's the night of love. Hold on a second, Scorpios. Oh, my morning stretch. Knight of Cups, this card that went, woo, and he, let me tell you, those knights fly. Those knights can fly. And it did fly. Boy, somebody had a lot of romantic feelings for you, Scorpio. Oh, yeah. Or you had a lot of romantic feelings for someone. Page of Swords, somebody thinks about you all the time. Somebody loves you, I feel. Two of Pentacles with an Ace of Pentacles. But I have the Eight of Swords. Hmm. Looks like they want a golden opportunity, a peace offering of some type. Um, that's how I'm looking at it. It's the Page of Swords. And I feel like somebody came into a new way of thinking about something. Like finding a compromise. I do feel it. I have the moon, the moon in reverse over to my left. This is someone who started having epiphanies. I haven't seen the cards yet. Uh, the moon in reverse is coming out of a place of a fog. And it has to do with something in their life changed. The Wheel of Fortune. Something changed. They started, something happened in their life and it, and it made them feel like everything is going to play out in my favor and now I'm not in the fog anymore. They still love you, whoever you've been dealing with. Four of Cups. Yeah. Queen of Swords. And then I have the Four of Swords, kind of like this and one card all the way to my right. Queen of Swords, beautiful queen, Libra energy. But the Four of Cups is somebody who's standing up for something with their truth. You know, the queen of evaluation. But I think by them staying in that queen of swords energy, it's starting to become a place of loneliness. Because this queen of swords can be a little icy, you know. And if you're the cross watcher, I don't mean you're you're just, the queen's been through a lot. You know, she has her sword. Hmm. So we have the Four Swords. Um, it's in reverse, kind of close. I'm going to take it. It's just telling me someone who doesn't get enough rest. Maybe they have, you know, I feel like some type of place where they have a hard time rejuvenating themselves because the card all the way over to my right 
is the uh, page of pentacles sideways the page of pentacles it's like it it's mapping something out here whoever you've been dealing with has a map in front of them but it's sideways they haven't figured out how to get something in their life at a peaceful place that's what i feel I, I always go like a place of a new, they're still, they're still like in this energy of, they have very, they love you, whoever you've been dealing with, but they're at this very indecisive place of staying in their energy of the queen of swords, but it's becoming to a point where I don't know how much longer I can do this kind of juggling back and forth about, should I give them a gold, this new peace offering, this golden opportunity? I don't know. I'm really thinking about it. Uh, the Page of Swords think, thinks a lot, watches. All right. Not sure. You know, um, I don't know what happened, but I do know they have the way this card went. Whoop. They have very romantic feelings for you. There's love there. All right. So those are their energies right now. They'll shift in a week or two. I'm going to look at what's coming in for you. I'm going to do the psychic tarot today. No, let's do this one today. Okay. <laughs> this is going to start rolling in this, this, sorry about that, you guys. This week, the never ending story. Sorry if my camera moved, my cord's kind of short. With the round and round, the vicious cycle. Huh. Incoming cards, messages. You know what I felt? I felt like if there's something that can't be compromised or worked on, I think it's time to close the chapter so these new uh, beginnings can come in because we're rolling into Sagittarius season and that's, you know, the Wheel of Fortune. Ruck and ruck and ruck, 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 ruck and right timing. <laughs> I don't know. Words come out of me. Luck and right timing. Incoming cards for the sign of my beautiful Scorpios. Thank you, Spirit Guides. Thank you. What else would you like to tell Scorpios? Okay. About the incoming energies. Anything else? No. Happy, happy is in front of me, though. And I have Imagine. Exchanging gifts. Observer. Oh. Hold on a second here. I got a good feeling. I have no place like home. And I have it with a deep knowing. I have serendipity. Something's about to play out for you, you guys. It's like it's almost going to push you to a place of... Serendipity is all about coincidence. Is it? Is it a coincidence that something that's going to come in for you to help you is going to bring you at a place of no place like home, a place of peace, a place of happiness? It's going to be like a sense of deep knowing with imagine and exchanging gifts observer. And who is this from all that glitters? Well, there it is right there. You know, I feel like this is something coming in for you that behind it is a golden opportunity. I just feel it and I don't know why, maybe because of the happy, happy, exchanging gifts, imagine an observer with milk and honey from the unfinished symphony. Sounds like your symphony is about to be finished. <laughs> it's all good, it's all beautiful. This is just something I feel I feel like they want you to watch something. Like watch something that you're not 100% sure about. Because with imagine, this is a card of manifestation. Imagine. And then we have like the door opening of exchanging gifts. Happy, happy into a place of milk and honey. Wow. I'm going to get some cards. Yes, I am. Let's do the Celtic Cross Tarot cards today for you. I have the moon. <clears throat> Let's just see though. Incoming cards I need to see. For my beautiful Scorpios. I have the Queen of Wands. And here comes the Knight of Love. And the lovers under the deck. All right. Might be a love reading. I don't know, Scorpios. <laughs> Maybe you're just going to have that feeling of, of going after love again. That's what the Knight of Cups is all about. With the moon. It's like letting your love guide you through a fog. Incoming cards for the sign of Scorpios. Thank you. What else do you want to show me? Incoming energies for Scorpio. Thank you. Anything else? Thank you. Anything else? 
Look at you. Wow. Look, look at these cards. Unbelievable. Underneath the deck is they want you to stand up for something with your truth. You know, the King of Swords is showing up. Okay. The King of Swords is the fighter, the king of truth, honesty, integrity. The King of Steel. And underneath that, I have it with the Ten of Swords. Um, this is about you staying in your integrity with no emotion. Because what they want to tell you is it's going to make you feel whole again. The Nine of Pentacles. You got to fight. There's some, this is something that in order to find out what's underneath that 24 karat gold or all that glitters, you need to stand up for something with your truth, honesty, integrity, because it's going to make you feel whole. I feel it. First card to my left is the old mighty manifester. Imagine. Imagine what it is that you want. Because here comes the fool. Two big major arcanas right off the bat. Uh, the fool is taking a leap of faith with something. And I think it's about you really putting it out there, Scorpios. Imagine. You know, people will limit ourselves on our manifestations. They want to tell you, do not. I have the Six of Swords. This is a card of rite of passage to calmer waters. Light at the end of the tunnel. And I have it with Capricorn, the devil. That's like getting away from the devil. Running from the devil. Listen, you guys. This is a place of leaving it. You know, I just started hearing that song. I, I always, things just come through me. It's like, that's what I feel. You're running from the devil. Things that have pulled you in from the fat past. You know, and the last card they gave me is the hanging man. The hanging man is all about something we do to ourselves. And it's only because sometimes we feel stuck in a position that we have to stay there. But we don't. And that's why they're giving you the king of swords. And this is what they're telling you. If there's something in your life that you're not 100% sure about, just speak with open, honest communication. No emotion, truth. And something will be delivered with exchanging gifts. They want you to watch how this is gonna play out. So th this is what they wanna say to you today, you guys. And this is about you creating what it is that you want, putting it out there, believing it's going to happen, and stop like putting in an energy of that can't happen. Anything's possible. Your life can change in 24 hours. Did you know that? <laughs> yeah, you guys probably did. <laughs> I think everybody, I think everybody does. All right, let's just start asking here. I'm going to get two messages for you. Remember the Ten of Swords is a card of a completion. Whatever's hurt you, it's, it's, it's enough downtime. It's like Ten of Swords devil and you're just taking off. You're like, that's the rite of passage to calmer waters. That's... That's there. You see the light at the end of the tunnel. Beautiful. Two messages for my Scorpios today, please, spirit guides, about this reading. Mm -hmm. If you can tell Scorpios anything today, thank you. Thank you. One or two more cards for the sign of Scorpios. I, I don't. I don't know. Uh, anything else for the sign of Scorpios? Anything else? They're done. They don't, they don't, this, like, I don't know. I can always tell when it's like the last card. Oh, well, here it is right here. For, oh, wow. Look at this one. Okay, you guys, this is what they want to say to you. The first card is decision. It's Angel Jophiel. Hmm. Release yourself from that which holds you back. A need to detox. Hmm. A necessary worry based on lack of self-confidence. We just talked about that with the hanging man. You know, they want, they're telling you, manifest what you want. Because here comes the nine of Gabriel. And this is the order I got him. Stay determined and move forward. Be prepared for any possibility. Environmental activism. You guys... <laughs> Come on, this is like, don't limit yourself on your manifestations. Believe it's going to happen and you will receive. And I feel that's what this whole message is. Imagine, imagine, imagine. Don't limit yourself because environmental activism is coming in. Beautiful reading today. This is what I have for you. And I just kind of feel it's like right next to the King of Swords. You know, so that's open, honest communication. The King of Truth. Or you got a king of swords coming in. I don't know. But thank you for viewing me today, you guys. Remember to hit the like button if you enjoyed it or it resonated or whatever. <laughs> I'm running out of words. Uh, subscribe if you're not. Thank you. Leave a comment if you like. 
and many blessings to you Scorpios. Happy birthday season. I hope you guys had a good one or have one coming up and wishing everyone many beautiful blessings. Thank you.